Mr. Wolf and I followed Mr. Bandages through the corridors until we reached a sliding door. This is the onsite doctor's office. Having said that, he opened the door and walked inside. I'm here for pain meds. I thought you were only coming for those later. I was, but then he such a fall down the stairs, so I figured I'd just kill two birds with one stone. The doctor immediately ushered me into the room and on the one of the bed. Where does it hurt? Did you hit your head? My jaw... My pain meds! The doctor shoved a coin in Mr. Bandage's hand and shoved him out the door. Right uh, now, you were saying? I'm fine. It's just my jaw that's a bit sore. She fell and... Kissed Mr. Vadima! Oh my! Kissed? Y yeah! Your lips and his mad and most painful kiss I ever had. Right. Well, it doesn't sound like anything too bad. Still, to be on the safe side, you should probably stay here for a while. It's for your Mr. Uh, Wolf, is it? Unless you have any injuries, it may be best that you leave Miss Archer to get some rest. Oh, okay. Feel better soon, Miss Archer. I'll try to. The doctor handed me a tablet and some water. This should help with the pain. Thanks. I downed the medication before snugging under the covers and falling asleep. When I woke up, the first thing I noticed was the Count reading in the chair by my bedside. The second thing I noticed was that Doctor wasn't in the room. Where? He's off searching for Eric. Someone let sleep that he also fell down those stairs. Ah, uh, wait. How do you know about that? Gossip travels fast. I hear that you kissed Eric and I miss it. I almost regret not tacking along. <laughs> so, how was it? How was what? The kiss. What kiss? I may as well have collided with the floor. His head was certainly hard enough. Your lips locked. That makes it a kiss. No, it's not. By your logic, I kiss everything my lips come into contact with. Well, that... I love my food, but I don't make a habit of kissing it. So, it wasn't premeditated? I'm not throwing myself down the stairs for any guy. No matter how hot he is. He let out a low chuckle. The other day you said he was creepy, and now he's hot. Those are not mutually exclusive. He can be hot and creepy, although I don't quite think of him as creepy anymore. Because he saved you from plummeting down the stairs? No, not just that. Oh, I met him. He wasn't quite what I expected. Oh. How so? He wasn't the flashy guy that did the opening speech. He was more... real. I kind of like the guy behind the mask. Huh. He kind of reminded me of you though. I'm honored to be compared to the great Eric Voldemort. You're doing that again. Doing what? Hiding behind the mask. Why do the two of you do it? For a moment, he looked at me inquisitively, then he leaned close and whispered softly in my ear Sometimes it's easier to be someone you're not than be rejected for who you are With that he got up with a huge smile on his face I'm glad you're feeling better Miss Lata Please don't take any more dumbbells down the stairs Although if you really want to throw yourself at a man, I'll be happy to welcome you with open arms now, I'll leave you to rest before the doctor returns and kicks me out.